Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mesh wreath for the holidays. I also have a video for a matching tree. To view this video in other languages, just click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. To begin, you will need a wire wreath frame found in the floral section of most craft stores. This one is an 18 inch frame, but you can get any other size you want. And you will need one 10 yard roll of 21 inch wide mesh fabric. And you'll need some pipe cleaners, also known as chenille stems, in matching colors. To begin, fold a pipe cleaner in half, then insert it along one of the outside wires and twist it together once or twice like a twist tie. Repeat with the next pipe cleaner. Fold it in half, insert it along the outside wire, and twist it a bit. And we'll do it again. You might have some trial and error first before determining the optimal space between the pipe cleaners. Once you get your entire outside wires prepared with pipe cleaners, you will want to move on to the inner wire. Here you can see my finished placement of pipe cleaners. Now it is time to prepare the mesh fabric. The first gathering along the edge is a bit difficult. Bunch together the mesh along its 21 inch edge. Then take your stapler and put a few staples in the mesh just to secure this edge gathering you just made. Now, place this gathered edge within one of the pipe cleaners along the outer edge. Tightly twist the pipe cleaners ends together, securing that gathered mesh's edge. Go across about 10 inches and gather together the mesh by pinching it. Place the center of it in between one of the folded pipe cleaners. Tighten and twist the pipe cleaner securely to hold it in place. And I'll show you this again. Move down about 10 inches from your last gather, then pinch to gather the mesh. Insert this gather into the next pipe cleaner along the outer edge and twist the ends together to hold the mesh in place. Repeat this process along the entire outer edge of your wreath frame. Here is what it starts to look like as you gather and tie the mesh to the wreath frame. You can cut off your pipe cleaners, or what I like to do is curl them so they add a little decoration to the mesh. Take a pencil and use it to roll the pipe cleaner over it to curl it. You can see what it looks like when both ends are curled. This is what the wreath looks like when the outer edging is almost fully covered with gathered mesh. To finish this outer edge, I like to do my last gather and overlap it a little over where I first started with my mesh. Once the last gathering is done, you can just move your mesh downwards to the inner edge and repeat the gathering process. Use the pipe cleaner on the inner wire edge to secure this new mesh gather. Repeat the same process of gathering and securing the mesh to the frame. Once you make your last gathering on the inner wire, you can just cut the end of the mesh, leaving about an inch or so excess, just so it doesn't fall apart and you can tuck that end towards the back or just cover it up with the decoration if you notice it. Once the mesh is complete, I like to take each loop and stretch and open it. This helps make the wreath seem fuller. I wanted to show you another wreath I made with the lighter green mesh fabric. You will notice I used only one of the inner wires to place my pipe cleaners instead of the outer and inner edge. Plus, I did three pipe cleaners per section. Now, it's time to decorate your wreath any way you wish. 
The local dollar store is a great place to find inexpensive decorations for your wreath. This is a regular tree ornament. I just take some scissors and cut off the hanging string part. You can use a variety of ornaments or pre-made bows or balls for your wreath. Then just take your hot glue gun and glue these ornaments to your wreath. This sign is meant to hang on a wall, but I cut off the string part and now can glue it to my wreath. And a glitter poinsettia helps finish my wreath. By the way, you can find the written pattern on my website, Nastasia.com. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description of this video for more information, and please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living. Thank you.